Uh, one thing that we pride ourselves the most at Forge is that, you know, the personal approach that we take with everybody that walks through the front door. Uh, not to mention the accessibility of our studio. We're right off of the turnpike. You know, there's so many artists that want to get out of the city or they want to travel from New York. We're an hour and a half door to door. It's a safe place, a beautiful neighborhood. People don't have to worry about anything coming out. The train drops off right out in front of uh, the studio. And, you know, it's just a change of pace to kind of get away from the hectic day to day things and come to your oasis of recording and just enjoy your time. I think it's uh, one of those studios that can accommodate local artists, regional, all the way up to national. You know, we have a very laid back approach to recording as far as like we try to accommodate anybody that is ready to take that next step. And, and for the price point and the equipment that we have uh, and just our mantra of just making everybody feel at home and having a great time. It's just really tough. You can go into many other studios where there's great gear and there's great vibe, but you know, the personnel really makes a difference. We have everything here, uh, and it makes it very easy for the client. Sometimes uh, what their dream is not only to come into a nice studio, but to play an instrument that they've always wanted to play or to have a specific sound on their album. And we have multiple guitars, tons of amps. I have all my drum kits here. There's about 13 different snare drums. And that's, that's important stuff because what they play live and what they sound like live, you want that to translate onto the CD. But at the same time, you want to be able to get the biggest and best sound that you can that's right for each song. Like we'll change out snare drums for every song until we find the one that sits right. And what they're, if they're normally playing a, a Les Paul on a song, but a Strat sounds better, we have whatever they, you know, whatever they need or want, we have it here. Uh, we have a seven foot Baldwin uh, grand piano. And it's a very versatile instrument. It sounds amazing in the room with the high ceilings. We have a 1959 Hammond B3 with a Leslie cabinet and uh, some serious mojo on that piece. Bernie Worrell, when he was here, actually made an offer on it. Had to politely decline. So we have a vintage uh, Ampeg B15 bass cabinet that I think in the five and a half years that I've been here has been on every record except for maybe two or three. Is even with signed artists that are with, you know, endorsed, you know, they're endorsed by certain companies, they, they see that amp and they, they always gravitate towards it. It's part of our sound. Uh, the board is an API 1608. Um, I guess about a year ago, I was speaking to the owner. I was like, you know, with the amazing room that we have out, it's built by John Stork, and we have an incredible microphone collection that spans, you know, almost 50 years. Uh, we were just looking for more front end, basically. You don't necessarily need to go out and purchase a $100,000 board these days to get the sound that you want. So we are looking some, for something with like a small footprint, 16 channels, just as a nice upgrade to really bring out the best sound in our microphones in the room. We're just absolutely thrilled to have it here. It was a complete game changer. We have other great outboard that we've always done our records with, but as soon as we got this, it just really was the cherry on top of the cake that we needed for the studio. From my point, like my perspective, I would say when the client is rehearsed and they're prepared and they've done their homework as far as like going to other studios, comparing what their needs are and what we have to offer, and you know setting a goal to what they want to accomplish and being realistic. Um, that's why we usually try to step in and have a pre-production meeting and make sure that we're able to meet their needs and that you know giving them a heads up on where they need to be prepared and and to go from there uh, and then just coordinating with them so when they walk in the front door they just literally are ready to record things are set up you know ready to go you know they're able to just walk in get set up get comfortable and not be sitting around for three hours while we're getting a kick drum sound. Just trying to be as prepared as possible. Try to learn the material if we have enough time. Usually that's what I like to do, where I'm able to just do some homework on the band or the artist that's coming in, get a feel for what they're looking for, what they want, and understand what their sound is, and then just try to execute what they're looking for. I, I can't just ever sit behind the board, listen to something, and not be able to say, you know, or to give my opinion when I think that it's not right. Because I hear too many albums where I just can't understand how somebody could have let that go. And if a band's coming in here and spending money that they've saved or worked very hard on tour or 
this is their experience that they're wanting, you know, it's my responsibility to make sure that I'm listening as intently as possible and giving my advice and using my experience and, and sharing that because that's what we also like to offer to our clients is that it's a more personable experience where we're vested in your project, we're not just button pushers and my critiques and opinions are given at will and within boundaries but I never try to go overboard and redirect something. It's really not my place unless the client really wants my direction. Oh, it's a thrill for me. Uh, first of all, as a musician, I get to see some of the you know the best people that are out there doing you know tours for different artists and people that I've grown up listening to come through our front doors and be able to work with them one on one. Uh, it's an exciting experience where you know the camera crews are out there and we're recording. Everything is live, you know, unrehearsed, right off of the cuff, and you get to experience some real magic there. And it's it's an amazing time. You know, the entire crew at Studio Jams, all the musicians that come through. You know, I I hope that we complement, you know, everything that they're doing because it's amazing to be part of it.